Mr. Porter, uh, whatever, I'm going to walk through some of these. You can use the hard copies in front of you. There's a screen to your left, and then there's one uh, behind you. Whichever of those works the best, um, we're going to walk through this. Can you turn your attention to one alpha alpha as shown on the screen? What does this photograph depict? This is an overall of the location at 980 Confederate Avenue. And why is it important to take an overall photograph? To show the location you're responding to. And uh, it does this uh, photograph, is there multiple units that were at 980 Confederate Avenue? Yes. Um, you recall how many there were? Um, from this picture, it looks as though there were four. Now, I'm going to publish State's Exhibit 2, Alpha Alpha. Is that the address of the location you responded to? Yes. Why is it important for you to take a photograph of the address when you respond to the crime scene? To depict the address that you're responding to. Publishing State's Exhibit 3, Alpha Alpha. What is depicted in 3, Alpha Alpha? Apartment doors C and D. Now, to get up there, did you or did you not have to go up any stairs? Yes, there were stairs. And why did you take this photograph that shows apartments C and D? It was a photograph in relation to apartment D that I was responding to. So it's to show it was two doors at the top of the stairs. Publishing State's Exhibit 4 in Alpha Alpha. Is uh, 4 Alpha Alpha... Is that the same apartment D that was just depicted in three? Yes. Publishing five Alpha Alpha. Is this a close up of the apartment door D? Yes, it's a close up of the apartment letter. I'm publishing say, six Alpha Alpha. What does this depict? Um, the overall of the door with a defect in the door. Now, can you describe to the jury what you mean with a defect? What's that? So a defect is any type of damage to an object that wasn't there previously. And do crime scene techs with the Atlanta Police Department, do they classify, uh, is that how y'all are trained to classify things as defects? Yes. And publishing states exhibit seven out out. Is this a close-up of defect on the door? Yes. Publishing State's Exhibit 8, Alpha Alpha. Now, what does this effect mean for This is the overall of the front door from the inside of the apartment. And Publishing State's Exhibit 9, Alpha Alpha. What does 9, Alpha Alpha detect? A uh, close-up of a defect in the same door. Now, in the defect we had shown that was on the front, and the defect as depicted in 9 Alpha Alpha, do they have any relation to one another? Um, could be. So there was a defect on the front of the door, and is this a defect on the back of the door? Yes. Publishing State's Exhibit 10 Alpha Alpha, what does, or what windows does, are depicted in 10 Alpha Alpha? Is that apartment C or apartment D? This apartment D, um, those windows are, I think, are adjacent to the door, the front door. And uh, do you notice any defects in 10 out out? Yes, there's a defect in the window. Um, the, you have a little, the computer screen has pollen because it's a yellow view. So I'm going to have this stick, manager reporter, and I'm going to have you show because it's a little hard to see okay. where this defect is. If I can find my, oh, thank you, Ms. Love. So, if you wouldn't mind, Manager Porter, can you show the jury where this defect is? Is this a zoomed-in depiction of that defect on the window outside apartment D? Yes, it's a close-up. What, uh, and why do you take a photograph such as 12 Alpha Alpha as you did here? So, we, uh, probably answering our location, we take overalls of the entire area. And in 12 Alpha Alpha is... That door, uh, the same door we had just talked about with the defect in it? Yes. And do you see uh, the window that we had just looked at that had a defect in it? Yes. Um, where is it in this photograph? It's to the left of the door. Is it the window that's closest to the door? Yes. And do you see the boxes in 13 Alpha Alpha? Yes. 
could you tell the jury what some of those boxes are that you photographed? Um, shoe boxes and like a pamper box. What, uh, can you show, I'll try to zoom in the best you can, can you point where you just mentioned that there's a camper box depicted there? Let me see. If you don't mind, thank you, man. Now, uh, can you tell what size that camper box is? Uh, size, size one. Um, do you have kids yourself in for Yes. Uh, are you familiar with what a size one camper box, what, what kind of age does that correspond with? Uh, probably between newborn and eight, nine months. Now, uh, do you see the window that has that defect in it in, say, is it a 13 ounce out? Yes. Can you uh, describe or show the jury where that is? The window. Yes, thank you, thank you. Now, I'm going to uh, publish State's Exhibit 14 Alpha Alpha. Bless you. Bless you. Is this the uh, same window we had just uh, discussed in 13 Alpha Alpha? Yes. Publishing State's Exhibit 15 Alpha Alpha. What does this show? This is an overall of that window with the blinds pulled up, um, depicting the defect again. So you remember earlier on when we, the window that was to the right of part of the D, we saw seeing a defect on the outside of the window? Yes. Does this correspond to that? Yes, this is the inside. And is the front door in relation to this to the immediate right or left of this defect? Um, on the inside to the right. Can you show where that defect is? Can you show where that defect in the wall is? I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit for you. <clears throat> Do you see that defect, Angela, that you just showed? Yes. Can you uh, show the jury where that is? And is that over the living room couch area of the apartment? Yes. Thank you. Do you see any other defects in this photograph other than the defect you described on the wall? Yes, there are defects in the closet doors and the wall next to the closet doors. Would you mind using that corner to show the jury where these are? And do you see any other defects if I move this photograph to the left? Yes, to the, the other closet, set of closet doors. What does this depict, man, before? The close-up of the defect above the couch. Mm. The defect you just described, depicted in this photograph? Yes, in the first set of closet doors in the wall. Publishing 21 Alpha Alpha? And the second set of closet doors. Publishing 22 Alpha Alpha. The, the close-up of the second set of closet doors. This is a zoom in of the detection you described in the closet door. Mm -hmm. Now, Manager Porter, when you respond and go out to crime scenes, do you ever, after you're done, generate a crime scene report? Yes. Um, can you kind of describe to the jury what's your process for creating that report? So when we when we get back to the office, we insert our crime scene report. Um, we use the information from what the officers gave us on scene, which would be the case number, the name, the date, um, victim, suspect information. If there's a vehicle involved, there's vehicle information, the address, and their identifying numbers, their name unit numbers and radio number. Now, in this crime scene report, do you ever provide any descriptions or break down the photographs that you took if you took some on scene? Yes. How are they broken down? Um, by photo narrative. Um, we break them down one photo, one by one. And um, do 
do you also describe in this report what you did when you responded on scene? Yes. Now, in this case, when you took the crime scene photographs, did you take any other photographs of any other units at 980 Confederate Avenue, that building? No. Um, if you had been requested to take, if that, if you had responded there or were needed to take photographs of an entire building shot up, would you have taken those photographs if there was additional defects in the photographs? Yes. Now, uh, I want to approach and hand you 54 Alpha Alpha, which is the crime scene report. 